Is this Cydia's best lock screen launcher? How's it going my friends? This is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. We are talking about Axis today. This is a lock screen launcher as you can see and it allows you to swipe over your icons. You just pull the little camera grabber over to the left and that will allow you to launch any of these apps right there on your camera grabber, right on your lock screen. These are all customizable. I'm gonna show you how you can customize it right now. But first of all, let me just launch an app. See, I just swiped over, locked onto the app, swiped up, and then I entered the passcode for my device and that launches the app just like that. Now this is a highly customizable tweak. I'm gonna show you what all you can customize here in the settings app and a lot of work has gone into Axis. Let me tell you, you're gonna figure that out pretty quickly once you go into the settings. Looks familiar as far as settings go, looks sort of like OXO because it's designed by Sentry. Under the My Axis section, you'll see the five app icons at the top of the screen. You tap on each one of those to configure them one by one. I tapped on the first one so I can choose any of these app icons that I want. They're all sectioned off here, news, productivity, music, etc. So you have a good idea of where everything is. Very nice organization, the way this thing is designed. And there's custom app icons for tons of apps in here. Lots of apps are supported. And it tells you actually what you have installed on your phone. If it's not installed on your device, you'll see a little, a little dotted line like those. So I, obviously I don't have too many music apps uh, outside of you know Spotify and music, but I can add a custom app if I wanna do that. So you're really not limited at all as far as what you can add. Uh, the only limitation is that you may not have the particular app icon for the app that you want to add, and it'll just use the default app icon in that case. Uh, but like I said, there's tons of different supported apps in Axis. You'll find it uh, very easy to use, very easy to configure, um, just very intuitive. That's, that's the word that keeps popping back into my mind. Just simple, straightforward, to the point, uh, getting these configured on your lock screen so you can launch all your favorite apps in just one quick swipe over and swipe up. You see, I just configured Instagram. You see the custom Instagram app icon, so that'll be the last app and that'll actually be my default uh, item on my camera grabber there, the first item that always shows. It's gonna ask for a passcode again. Now, here's where I kind of have a problem with Axis. It always requests that you enter the passcode for your phone, even if you've already entered it, you know, just a second earlier, and you don't have the uh, passcode lock to automatically kick in, it will still ask you no matter what if you're launching an app from Axis. So that is one kind of a downside to this. In a future version, uh, the developer is going to add support for passcode on an app by app basis. And that's really the, I guess, the structure that this tweak was set up to support. That is not in here yet, but eventually you'll have that. Now, that being said, if you use the camera app, because that is the stock, you know, that's the stock function normally, then you do not have to use a passcode, which is interesting. Um, everything else, you have to use a passcode, unfortunately. But in the future, you will have support for passcodes on an app by app basis, which is absolutely incredible when you think about it. And that will push this tweak over the top and make it definitely likely, highly likely, one of the best tweaks of 2013 and probably my top tweak as far as lock screen launchers are concerned. And even with all the promise, all the features, the well-designed tweak, uh, the well-implemented ideas, it's only 99 cents on Cydia's Big Boss repo and it should be available anytime now. We're talking days, we're talking hours. It should be available for 99 cents on Cydia's Big Boss repo. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.